Like, I'm pretty sure they were primarily Japan only. But I'm really, I'm really excited. We get to, we get to look at Sun Sun. Let's go Tenjiku, based on the, uh, the famous Journey to the West story. Sun Sun is a, uh, Sun Sun's been around. Sun Sun got a, uh, a weird sequel on the, uh, the PC Engine that I played a couple weeks ago. It ends up playing more like Black Tiger than this game. And, of course, a, a different Sun Sun character showed up in, uh, in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So might have gotten some U.S. distribution. I've never seen a cabinet of it, but maybe it was... I, I don't know who distributed it, that distributed it then. Because, like I said, Capcom Capcom didn't have a, uh, a U.S. branch yet. Anyway, this is a... Uh, it's sort of a, a horizontal... It's not really a, a shmup. It's like a, a running gun. It's kind of a shmup. It's, it's auto-scrolling. But instead of having, like, free range of movement over the whole screen, uh, you have, like, six platforms that you jump up and down to. This is a, uh, a style that didn't show up very often. SNK kind of ripped it off later for, uh, for a game called Psycho Soldier. Yeah, I did get a Famicom port and obviously all the other, uh, all the other arcade ports, Capcom Collection, Arcade Cabinet, Arcade Stadium, whatever. So there have been ways to play it. But as for the original arcade game, I think it was kind of obscure. Oh yeah, it's the freebie they give you at Arcade Stadium too, huh? So people have gotten to try out Sun Sun. So how is it? And we got the spinning skulls. I wonder if I have a high score on this. No scores. I minimized it. Uh, it's not one of those games where the audio is kind of staticky. I don't know, the volume seems low to me. How does it sound on stream? I guess it'll get louder once there's music. Seems fine? Alright. Oh yeah, two-player simultaneous. Two-player simultaneous in a lot of these games was not... not too common yet. Even for shmups. Oh, it's like speeding up. Let's go, Tenjiku! Good luck! Alright, so the object of the game... Uh, you see that number 19 at the top? It goes goes down every few screens. We got to make it to the uh, to the end. Save our buddies. Give me that carrot. Audio's crackling a little bit. Maybe I should try another version of Mame. Not a secret here. There, you see those brown things? Those are like the... They're like the soul towers in Xevious. You have to, like, walk over them to make them appear and then shoot them for more points. Another game inspired by Xevious. Oh, got an extra life. Oh, there's the POW. What does the POW do in this game? Well, I didn't do anything there, but it's supposed to turn enemies into fruit. <laughs> into foods. 
But there were no enemies on screen, so I didn't do anything. You didn't expect to see us in Push to Reject? Why not? Did you see this game all over in arcades? These enemies can actually fire at you. Oop, missed a bonus there. Spinning Skull can be destroyed. It's more known than what we've seen so far. Well, like I... S you you might have missed the beginning of the stream. What I, what I want to focus on with this stream are games that were just not... You, from from an arcade standpoint, did you actually see them in an arcade? Like, some of these games have gotten ports. I, I understand and recognize that. Like, this game has been ported a lot. Besides the Famicom port, the actual arcade version has been ported by Capcom, like, like several times over. So it's not entirely obscure. But... The question is, did you actually see this in an arcade back in the day? That is that is the primary focus of the series. Not uh, not not the uh, obscure games that have never been ported, but just games that just aren't really uh, aren't really remembered as you know being the being mega hits of the arcade. Mid bosses, okay. Did get distributed by Romstar. I've still never seen a cabinet. So it must have been very, very limited distribution. I don't think Galloping Ghost even has this. Oh, almost got killed though. I missed the egg! Oh! That guy stole the egg! Get back here. If I once you see this, this game does sort of, sort of have an ending once you reach the uh, the number zero at the end, but then it just goes into another loop. We'll see if I can one cc it here. This game does give a lot of uh, extends. I think the first one was at like twenty thousand, second one's at eighty, and then it's like every one hundred thousand after that. I haven't lost my life yet. Oh, give me that. I missed it. Whatever. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah, you press up to go up, down to go down. Ah, I got me. We'll just hang out in the cloud for a bit. You're invincible until you until you move. Or until time runs up. Give me the cake, it's Sun Sun's birthday. There we go. Those point items are going up in value too. Oop, mid boss. Ah oh, you fucker! Uh, this part does time out if you don't destroy all the walls. Eventually the screen starts moving, but you get a lot of points if you can shoot these things, so... There we go. Alright, now we can get the POW. Unfortunately it doesn't work on the mid-bosses, but I made a bunch of enemies turn into french fries, so... I think I got something out of it. Those bosses are worth a lot of points, too. <laughs> I don't like it when games have french fries in them. It's important to play for score, because, yeah, I'm getting an extend every 
every 100,000 after 80,000, so 180, 280, 380. Although after a million, it cuts off extra lives. Don't get her started, Mortis. Oh, Capcom. Capcom giving the shout outs to themselves again. Well, the skulls are moving now. Skull that got recycled in uh, in Black Tiger. Oh god! Oh god! I didn't mean to move up. Yeah, okay. first kind of rough. Maybe I stayed on that too long. All right, we're going up here. Waiting for that dragonfly to move. So, like, one of the strats with this game is that like. Uh, whenever, like, a, a formation of enemies comes out like this, another one can't appear until all the uh, all the previous ones are gone. So as long as that guy's on the screen... Well, he, he ran off, but... As long as he stays on the screen, another one can't appear. 9,000 point pineapple. Come on, I'm almost at the boss area. Where'd everybody go? down. can actually jump back here. Alright. And then, hey! The Yashichi's a, a 6,000 point item. I thought it was 10,000. This game already has uh, the Yashichi and the, uh, and the POWs. Turn everybody into food. Gets me closer to a one-up. The Seekers do, uh, those little brown towers do show up in the same spots every time. It's just, you know, you gotta memorize where they are. And I tend to forget <laughs> these, these things. I hate these flying enemies, the, uh, the flies. Uh, I want that pineapple. I can't get it. I had to kill that thing. I didn't mean to... Okay. Gene wins! Uh, Gigasters, thank you for the 14 months. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. I still have a few scores up there. I wish I'd, I wish I'd made it out this year to put up some more. Thank you for the resub. A lot of work to do there, but didn't make it out this year. Maybe next year. Uh, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Ah. Just let me get to the boss area. So I gotta go through one more of these. Ah. Okay. Not good to stay at the bottom all the time. <laughs> yeah, games aren't putting the uh, the company name and year at the bottom of the screen to to cause permanent burn in. As technology advances. Oh, big points. Isoguchi wins. Uh, uh, Chonkwesh, thank you for the uh, for the two months. Hey, thank you for the resub. There goes a scam train. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for the sub. I only got four more areas to go. Okay, I can't get down there. Spank me. The sound is like getting farty. What's going on here? Alright. We'll just time it out. Fair enough. Alright, 
Only four more areas to go. Ah, there Thank was a second. Much. There was a second skull there. Okay, I don't know why the sound is getting all staticky. Oh, thank you for the uh, thank you for the bits, Kazwisher, Super Ninja Desu. Submall, thank you for the raid. How are you? No, it's not the ROM set. It's just Mame being weird again. Hold on, I need to focus. I gotta. <laughs> I'm close to the end. I'm close to dying. Wow. Oh, Tangent X, thank you for the 38 months. Uh, I can't get down there. Why is this? Why is this happening? All right, fine. A lot of points to be had if I can shoot those walls, but the game is not uh, cooperating. Uh, thank you for the bits. I might have missed something. I'm trying to focus at the moment. And Mames, be Mames being weird. I'll thank you all in just a second. Yeah, the sounds crackling. I don't know why. I'm. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be doing that. I know, it's very distracting, I'm sorry. Don't tell me that Intel malware is doing some shit to my computer again. Fucking... I'm trying to focus here! Why does this shit have to be happening now? God damn it! Alright, that's not good. The last area. Just have to not fuck up on the bosses. I mean, I, I literally just said I was having issues with the sound. And playing like garbage. Usually I have like way more lives going into this. Oh wow, one of the uh, the enemies didn't spawn. Alright, well, I made it. <laughs> the last level is a bonus stage. Oh sure, give me a pow when there's like nothing on screen. Get this! Congratulations, bonus 10,000 and 30,000. On loop two, it goes up to it goes up to sixty thousand, and then ninety thousand, etc., etc. And that's a full loop of Sun Sun. Loop two does get a little harder when the uh, the the flying like bad enemies show up. They'll they'll show up on like multiple planes instead of all being in like one formation. And I think the uh, I think the skulls might move a little more. So there are some there are some definite changes that happen, but I think the difficulty maxes on loop two, and then it's just a matter. Oh, also the the bats can come out from the uh, from the back now. Spank me. I swear this crackling thing wasn't happening when I tested it off stream. to check something after this. Anyway, I probably should kill off the uh, the credit because that's that's a full loop. We've seen we've seen what we need to see here. Congrats, son, son, you did it. What is that, Rub? Not rub, but rub. Oh yeah, they give you uh, they give you four letters. So who the hell uses rub? It's not rub. Oh yeah, there's a separate high score list for uh, for two player mode. That's kind of kind of unusual. Anyway, thank you for the, uh, uh, I missed some, uh, 
Gotta scroll back. Jesus Christ, Mame. Does not like me clicking outside the window. Uh, thank you, Cell Tape, Ex Mortis, Rachel, Nufi Banga, Dasiati, Super Ninja, Desu, Kaz Wisher. I got an emote. Is that a frog? Yeah, it's not the it's not the highest score overall on Marp. I gotta fucking mute this. Um, <laughs> it's not the highest score overall. Uh, somebody got two point three million on the uh, on the Japanese version. So, but yeah, I did get two million on this. That was that was three full loops. Back when I was good at this game. <laughs> in the way off in the year two thousand fifteen. I like this game a lot. It's a it's a fun game. I think it's pretty satisfying. Do I like it enough for it to be a five though? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is a game I I wish I'd gotten to play in the arcade. I would have I would have liked playing it. Zazi wins. Cube thirteen. Thank you for the uh, thirty months. Thank you for the reset. I do like it more than Volgus, for sure. So I guess it'd be weird to give it the same rating. Well, it's looking like it's getting, uh, it's getting an awful lot of fours. Maybe that's the... Uh, maybe part of that's the BBH influence. And BBH knows how to play a game. It makes it look better than it, it might be. No, this game's good. Um, yeah, fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm giving it a five. I like this game a lot. I'm always down to play a credit of this. Even if that last credit wasn't, uh, wasn't super great. But I think it's a fun game. I think it's worth checking out. It's the free game on Capcom Arcade Stadium 2. Now available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Who's that handsome gentleman? That's Bongo. With the hit arcade game Bongo. Yeah, we don't give we don't give out fives very often. Although I've given out more than, than chat has because. Because I'm the I'm the biased person that gets to just Overwrite it. <laughs> yeah, gotta gotta up your Caspo rank. Gotta get that Caspo. Oh yeah, and switch. I forgot switch. Love that Caspo. Did I give Hawker a five? I guess I did. <laughs> 